the sunshine and the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away Hello friends, happy Tuesday. Welcome to our second baby watch vlog. Still no baby, unfortunately. Today, I, to be honest, don't have a ton planned. I actually had the worst night's sleep ever last night. I went to bed at like 10.30ish, fell asleep. Woke up at like 12.30 and I was having some like cramping and I was like, okay, this is kind of weird, but that happens to me sometimes and I remember in one of my like birth classes or I don't know, at some point our midwife had told us that when that happens, it often can be because you're dehydrated. So I got up and drank like a big glass of coconut water. If you guys don't know, coconut water has like a lot of natural electrolytes. So I drank a big glass of that, drank a big glass of water, and then I like walked around for like 10 minutes to see if it would go away. And then eventually the cramping did go away. So then I laid back down and like tossed and turned for a couple of hours, horrible. Finally decided to get up, tried eating a little bit. I made myself some like sleepy tea and to try and get myself to go to sleep. It just was not working. I read for a while. I like tried everything you could think of to try and go back to bed. And then eventually I was looking up like insomnia, 39 weeks pregnant. And apparently it's something that like a lot of women go through sometimes. It's just like, it's hard to sleep. You have a whole little baby in your belly. It's really uncomfortable. Your body hurts <laughs> and that's what happened to me yesterday. So today, this morning, I finally went to bed at like 5 a.m. Slept until like 10.30. So I did get like five and a half hours of sleep, which is good. Um, and then I woke up, went to the chiropractor, and here we are. So the only other thing I have like for sure going on today is we have a midwife appointment at 1.30. So in a couple of hours, we're going to go to that. And I am just planning on kind of hanging out around the house. I want to do some gardening this morning and then just to clean the house and then just rest a lot today because if baby comes tonight, <laughs> I'm going to be exhausted. So I definitely need to rest today and kind of just take it easy. But anyways, that's what's going on over here. That was what was happening last night. <laughs> and I would love to know if you have been pregnant before, which trimester was the hardest for you? Like, I feel like the obvious answer is first trimester. Like so many people say the first trimester is so hard and the first trimester was hard. Do not get me wrong. I was exhausted and didn't feel great. But the third trimester has kicked my butt. <laughs> like hands down, the third trimester has been so hard for me. And especially just like weeks like 36 to today. <laughs> I just am so done. I'm so ready to meet her and just like not be pregnant anymore. And so if you are a mama or if you've been pregnant before, I would love to know in the comments which trimester was the hardest for you because I just think it's really interesting. But anyways, we're gonna turn our day around hopefully and have a good rest of the day i'm gonna go grab i always like bring a little like pool towel out when i garden because squatting over all of the boxes like is not very fun so anyways i'm gonna grab my little basket of tools set up my blanket and then uh do a little bit of gardening good morning you guys today is wednesday our day yesterday took a little turn <laughs> for the unexpected and I was not able to vlog the rest of the day. So I'm gonna give you a story time of what happened and where we are now. <laughs> so as I mentioned at the beginning of yesterday's vlog, we had a midwife appointment yesterday. So we went to our midwife appointment and they do the same sorts of like things every time that you go to an appointment, like they check your blood pressure, um, they have you do like a urine test, they take your weight, you know, the normal like check in, make sure you're good kind of stuff. Well, they took my blood pressure and the last couple of weeks, the last three weeks or two weeks, basically since we found out that baby was breached, my blood pressure has been a little bit elevated and high when we go there because I'm stressed about the baby. And it's kind of been like on the line of high, but like, okay, kind of thing. So yesterday when we went, um, they tested my blood pressure and it was high. So they like took it a couple of times throughout the appointment and they checked baby and everything and her heartbeat was good. She was still head down, all of that was good, but they were concerned about my blood pressure. So our midwife that we are working with is not affiliated with like the hospital. They have their own birth center. And so they have like stricter protocols or like regulations. I don't know how to call them. Like more strict like rules for like what 
your health needs to be to be able to deliver with them because they are not a hospital. So they basically told us during our appointment that since it was high and it's been running a little bit high that we needed to go to the hospital to get monitored. <laughs> so that's what happened. They told us that they were gonna monitor my blood pressure for two hours and they had like the little blood pressure cuff thing and it would take it like every 10 minutes or so and they expected the first few readings to be high higher than probably what they were even at the birth center because we just got to the hospital it's a stressful environment like you know we're stressed about what's gonna happen stuff like that the midwife also told us like before we go before i go into like a situation like that i want to know like what's gonna happen what's the worst case scenario like all the different things and so they told us basically that they would monitor us and then if it was like extremely high over those two hours like it didn't ever level down to like what it actually probably is then they would potentially induce us and then we'd have the baby because we obviously like want the baby to be safe and if my blood pressure is high then the baby is not getting like the oxygen she needs another option that could happen is if it's like high but not like so high is that they could send us home that night and then send us home with like a gallon jug or something and like I don't know I guess I would like collect my pee is what she said um, in the jug and then they'd like test that and then we'd come back the next day and like do it again basically or my blood pressure would be fine and they would send us home so those were basically like the three options that could have happened so we called our friend and luckily she was able to kind of stop by our house and grab like a couple of things that we needed like my headphones my book Warren's computer, stuff like that. We didn't grab like our hospital bag at that point because they told us like if we were to be induced that night, they would allow us to like leave the hospital and come back and grab it if we needed to. Um, so we didn't grab it at that point, but we just grabbed a couple of things because we thought we were gonna be there for a few hours. So we get to the hospital, get checked in, and all I can say is the last couple of experiences at the hospital, like the ECV experience and then this experience as well, nurses make the biggest difference. Like if you are a nurse, I appreciate you so much because you spend way more time with your nurse than you do your doctor and your nurse can make or break your experience and we have been very blessed with the two nurses that we've had the last few times have been amazing and like very patient and kind and gentle and we really appreciate that. So anyways, we get to the hospital, we get checked in and they, you know, start taking all of our information and stuff, we get into our room and then they start the monitoring. So they take my initial blood pressure reading and it had dropped like 10 points, more than 10 points, 11 points I think, since they took it at the birth center. And so the nurse was like, wait, you're not even like considered high right now. Like, why are you here? And so she's like, okay, well, we'll keep monitoring you and we'll see what happens. And then they also were gonna draw like labs and just run like a bunch of different tests to just like make sure everything was fine. Like they were gonna test my blood count. They were gonna test for preeclampsia. They were gonna test for like all this different stuff just to make sure that everything was fine. So they draw my labs and thank goodness that process went pretty well. Sometimes I can have a hard time with labs, but honestly pregnancy like has made me way better with needles and labs and IVs and all those sorts of things because you have to get it done so often that I'm a lot more comfortable now with that sort of thing. And then the blood pressure thing went off again because it had been 10 minutes and my blood pressure was even lower than what it was the initial reading, which was way lower than what it was at the first center. So the nurse looked at me and she was like, you do not have high blood pressure like you're fine and i was like thank god because obviously like we don't want to have high blood pressure it's not good for me or the baby but it also just shows that it was just like a stressful response um i'm a little bit of an anxious person i get a little bit stressed about stuff if you have not been able to tell and i think me going to the birth center now i've like associated mentally with like i think like every time that i go to my appointment i'm afraid that like baby's gonna be flipped back or whatever's gonna, like something's gonna be wrong because that's what's been happening the last few weeks. And so it's just very interesting because now we were in a new environment, the hospital, um, which is arguably more stressful, but my blood pressure was lower. So basically they stopped monitoring me at that point. We talked to the doctor at the hospital and she came in and she was just like, yeah, your blood pressure's not high, you're fine. Um, and she kind of just gave us like some advice on like what to do to help monitor it and just make sure that it's good. And she just let us ask any questions we had and stuff like that. And we didn't really have that many 
but it was kind of cool because I was hooked up to the monitor because we had to stay and wait for the laps to come back just to make sure everything was clear. And I was hooked up to the monitor and I was having like a ton of contractions or Braxton Hicks, either one. And so that was very interesting. And then also we could see baby girl's heartbeat obviously because we were being monitored and she was moving around like crazy. I took a video of my stomach and it's just crazy. So yeah, she was moving around like crazy. Um, I was having contractions. It was just a very interesting experience. But basically we ended up staying there for like another hour and a half at that point, probably. We stayed until about 6 p.m. And all of my labs came back perfectly clear. Everything was in range. Everything was perfect actually. And so there's nothing wrong, thank goodness. So me and baby girl are perfectly healthy and fine. But it was just like a very stressful, experience but thank goodness everything is fine baby girl and i are both fine she's still very much in my stomach not coming out <laughs> and at this point i'm like not convinced she's actually coming so anyways that is what happened yesterday that is why today's vlog is so short so i apologize but we did not expect yesterday to happen everything is good to go forward and so hopefully the last few days of us being pregnant continue to go well all i can say is these last few weeks have been so stressful just like our little baby is throwing us into the ringer these last few weeks we are so ready for her to be here because <sighs> lauren looked at me and he was like okay baby can come now like this is too much and i was like okay we're on the same page finally also side note the mascara i got from target that i shared in yesterday's vlog definitely waterproof works great would 100 percent recommend <laughs> because i was crying like a little bit yesterday a lot of it and it did not smudge at all. So I am wearing it again today because who knows what today is gonna bring. I am gonna end this vlog here so that I can upload it and get it up for you guys. And then I'll be vlogging again today for day number three of Baby Watch. And so hopefully she will be coming soon. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye. Tomorrow